Brava. Brava. Bravissima. Ah, oh, I apologize, my dear. Did I scare you? I swear I wasn't sitting here for too long. There's no need to feel embarrassed. I was simply appreciating the music of the night. <laughs> God, you're quite the marvel, aren't you? You truly belong upon that stage. As beautiful as a star in the sky. Or a rose in a bouquet. You love the praise, do you not? I know you do. But I suppose that's to be expected. Cleaning floors only hindered your reputation. If anything, it was non-existent. The highest of compliments in your world would be about the quality of your labor. But look how that's changed. Those people. Those washed up, two-faced aristocrats refuse to set their eyes upon your beauty. They were too scared to do so. But I wasn't. Not at all, my sweet. You see, my dear, this opera house of mine has been under my watchful eye for a while now. I've seen both beauties and beasts work their way up the ranks to achieve every person's dream. Fame, fortune, praise. And yet, None of them interested me in the slightest. They were always out of tune, I suppose. But my, how you possessed me the moment you set foot in this building. My senses abandoned all their defenses when I first saw that gentle spark in your delicate eyes. The hypnotizing movement of your body as you walked. The way your words floated upon your sweet breath. Your delicious smell. <laughs> you truly are a delectable thing, aren't you? <laughs> Please, don't be shy. After all, did you never wonder why, why they let a humble cleaner become the grand jewel of the theater in the first place? Hmm? <laughs> let alone audition. See? I knew you were curious. 
It was all thanks to yours truly. I created a clearing in this grand garden. To give you space to blossom into the breathtaking flower you are. <laughs> How? <laughs> well, let's say I uh, pulled a few weeds. <laughs> What do I mean? Oh. Don't worry your pretty little head about it, sweetness. The nature of my business does not belong in your gentle realm. But enough about that. I want to focus on you, and only you. You have always been more enthralling than any singer to walk this stage. It's undeniable. Your eyes, more beautiful than a starry night. Your throat, imprisoning that perfect voice. Devastating features, soft hair. I could only appreciate you like this when you slept. Did you feel me there beside you, my dear? Did you see me in your dreams? I hope you did. I wanted to approach you, but unfortunately, I grew a bit too comfortable in the shadows. But that was for the best, I suppose. That way I could simply Appreciate you. Appreciate you in every form. Without the fear of being seen. It was thrilling. Consuming your every move with my gaze. So intoxicating. Oh, you bewitched me, body and soul. You alone made me hit the point of no return. Hmm? <laughs> you don't understand what I'm talking about. Oh, my dove. <laughs> Allow me to enlighten you. Without you in my sight, all air escapes my lungs, and I choke on the dust within the passageways of this opera house. The pleasant smells of flowers and desserts from dressing rooms grow disgusting as soon as your scent drifts past my nose. <sighs> my body refuses to sleep without a fresh image of your face. 
to carry me into peaceful slumber. Even in my sleep, you sing to me. <laughs> Hell, even when washing their blood from my hands, all I could hear was your angelic voice as my palms were scrubbed raw. Although, it appears some blood still lingers under my nails. <laughs> you see how I can't help but think so fondly of you, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you nervous. I... Murderer? <laughs> That's a very cruel thing to call someone. Although you're not entirely wrong, my love. My dear. My dear. Please wait. Oh, oh, my angel of music. <laughs> this behavior of yours is very unusual. <laughs> oh, especially since I put so much blood, sweat, and tears into getting you where you are now. Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> oh, or are you not the type to appreciate the fine details like I do? Oh, oh, please don't scream, my darling. <laughs> Be quiet. There's no one else here. They're all sleeping soundly in their chambers. <laughs> Just give up, dear. You'll strain your voice if you carry on. <laughs> and then we can't have that, can we? We don't want an encore of what happened to the others. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Actually, <laughs> uh, I'm feeling rather merciful tonight. So I'll allow you to run and scream as much as your heart desires. After all, we're backstage in the shadows. You're in my realm now, darling. Ah. I'll even give you a head start, my darling. Thirty seconds. That sounds fair. Your chances of escape are futile either way. For you see... I'll always find you. You'll never see me coming, either. My presence will be nothing but a breeze drifting past you through the banisters. Now... <laughs> Are you ready, my sweet? Run! One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight... Nine... Ten... Eleven...
<laughs> no sweetness. Breathe nice and deep. Just for me. I told you it was futile, did I not? I know it's frightening. Shh, shh, no. Be calm. Ah, oh, that's right, my love. Stop resisting. Ah, oh, let me cradle you in my arms. You'll be safe in my care. I'll take you down with me. Down. Below this opera house. To my residence. There's a comfortable bed waiting for you. Oh, and marvelous new clothes. Things that I know you'll look ravishing in. You're going to love it. You are. You are going to love it. I swear, I swear upon it with all my heart. I'll make certain, I'll make certain that you're the brightest jewel the stage has ever seen. Oh, my darling, my love. Oh, oh. Before you go to sleep, my dear, let me make but one small request. <laughs> Promise me. <laughs> Promise me you love me. Only me. Only ever me. Oh, my sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. That's all I ask of you. That's all I'll ever ask of you. <laughs> <laughs>